Hi everyone, my name's Mayuko and welcome to Crash Course, the show where two brave developers explain software engineering concepts, trends, and ideas using only what's in this room. No pens, paper, whiteboard, or screens of any kind are allowed. Our developers today are Phil and Imtiaz, and they'll be explaining, and this is a really relevant topic, coding for cross-platform apps. Are you two ready? Yes. Yep. Let's All right. do it, man. So, what are we gonna build? <laughs> We're gonna need a server side, and then your multi-platform, so you're gonna have two, however you wanna design that. I think a game board would work well for that. That's perfect. Right, and every platform has, you know, its own set of rules, uh, and a set of tools. Kind of your software development kit. I'll grab some over here. Is that Chess OS? Yep, Chess OS. So this is our application, and right. it's a different application for this platform than it is for this platform. Okay, right. and now we have a database that both of these apps need to talk to. I gotta call you back, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Who are you calling? <laughs> calling my database. Ah. Now the thing is, we need to decouple this. Ideally, we wanna have the service layer here that has the data, the authentication, or whatever service we need decoupled from the actual apps that are deployed there so they can interact with it by sending requests. Hmm. So let's move the database down here a bit and introduce, boom, a firewall, let's say. <laughs> so I'm gonna have controllers represent the different services. This <laughs> giant controller yeah, if you want that. Yep. Let's say that this connects with the database. What other service do you think we will need for this? This is the wonderful world of app building is that there are all these rich third-party services that we could use. We may be building an app that can do image recognition. Like maybe you take a photo and it recognizes whether there's a cat or not. That's our new app, cat or not. And so we need some image recognition service. We can either have an image recognition built specifically for each of those platforms, which will be a lot of work, or I can introduce something in the service layer, say cheese. These controllers are basically a way for all of these folks on this side to kind of press the buttons and call into these services without really needing to know the implementation of how these are done. Right. Mm. Now let's say we want to build a third application for a third platform. I'm going to have to go through this entire process again. If I find a security vulnerability in this app, there might also be different security vulnerabilities in this app. Mm -hmm. Now my, I'm much more exposed, right? It would be great if I could just write the app once and have it run on all of these platforms. And that's where we get into the idea of cross-platform apps. So now we're going to build a new platform. And the cool thing about this platform or this framework is that it understands the rules to this this and that. And now there's only a single phone. With less phones, we use less minutes. <laughs> and we just need to learn this one set of rules. And then this translates to the other. I feel like we're missing another pool noodle then in this case, because it sounds like if you're doing a cross-platform app, you don't actually have to know what's on this side a little bit, right? So right, there exactly. you go. We'll put this over. It's kind of like a bridge. Okay. Oh, it looks like a bridge to me. <laughs> Whether I'm building an app per platform or a cross-platform app, we're going to need an authentication service. We got a big hand that says no access. So in this analogy, it's kind of the same way that we've been interacting with the image recognition. Mm -hmm. User uh, launches our app and says, okay, I'm who I say I am. So we call the authentication service mm -hmm. and the authentication service does the work to say, mm -hmm. yeah, they are who they say they are. Mm -hmm. And then now we can call this image service with that information saying, oh, this person would like you to tell us if this is a cat or not. Speaking of cats, do we have any cats on set? So we could test out the app. Another thing is that this uh, app that we built here, you don't have to worry about C Sharp for Windows or Swift for Mac. You can just use this intermediary language to build your app that gets deployed on both of those platforms. That's true. Uh, we've talked a lot about the benefits. What are some of the drawbacks and cons to doing this approach? Performance is one of them. Since we're adding a layer of abstraction, it's not going to be as fast as writing native. This platform has to translate to the rules of this game, but it's better than no app on mm. your platform mm. that you care about. So it seems like cross-platform development is a really important technology and framework in this day and age to create lots of different apps on different platforms. So thank you so much, Phil and Imtiaz, for being on the show today and for this amazing display. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Crash Course. Game board okay, down. let's Game pretend that down. didn't happen. <laughs>